<laughs> Lamin Yamal is the greatest footballer in the world at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, as a Real Madrid fan, as a Manchester United fan, especially, this depresses me a lot. Because why, when we have this team of Mbappes, of Vinicius Juniors, of Rodrigo's, of Bellingham's, all the money that we have, a billion dollar stadium, by the way, billions of billions of billions spent just to make a decent team. And we have a bunch of kids from the Academy of Barcelona out here dunking on every goddamn team, winning 7-0, 4-0. What's next? They're gonna do that to us next! Real Madrid's form is just not it right now, man. Kylian Mbappe! What is he doing exactly? Penalty after penalty after penalty. This goes the same thing about the entire Real Madrid team, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, I was scrolling through the Twitter last night, right? And seeing the fact that Lamine Yamal has more non-penalty goals than Mbappe than Vinicius Jr. than Rodrigo all combined. That's our entire attack by the way. <laughs> what pisses me off right that we Real Madrid fans, we went decades, not just one, two goddamn decades being chased by a 5 foot 7 Argentinian midget destroying us every game and I am not, I am not, I mean I do, I'm not ashamed to admit that yeah Lionel Messi have destroyed us just like Cristiano Ronaldo destroyed Barcelona the two greatest players in football when he left Barcelona we were all happy and then he went and baptized or just held or showered a little kid when he was 17 Lionel Messi when he was 17 he went and baptized some random ass kid and now that kid is out here trying to hunt us for the next two decades by the name of Lamin Yamal. You killed the man, not the idea. I just want to talk about that first goal. Look at him going fighting for the goddamn ball, right? He's out there applying pressure and my Manchester United fan tendencies came out for a bit because as a Manchester United fan, I'm watching Lamine Yamal, I'm watching every winger in football in general, right? They go on pressure, they go and defend, just like a normal goddamn winger. Him putting this much effort and then me going and seeing the likes of Anthony and Marcus Rashford, right? <laughs> when you see Marcus Rashford walking so slowly, doesn't care, doesn't want to defend or take the ball, like he's some Cristiano Ronaldo, Rooney combined type of player it just pisses me off it, it's not nice I, I'll, I'll be honest it doesn't feel good it does not feel good it just it does doesn't feel good and obviously the second goal he scored unbelievable such a good form this season such a good form that he had in the euros as well man if he until the time of the Ballon d'Or ceremonies if he scores like 25 plus goals which is I see it as impossible is it doable? Yeah, but is it only if you're Haaland. <laughs> if he scores 25 plus goals until the October, I don't know, was it October 20? Just give him the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> Another thing, Real Madrid fans, don't come at me, right? Another thing I want to say, I want to apologize to Lamine Yamal as well. Why am I apologizing to the 17-year-old kid? Because, ladies and gentlemen, there was one video I made a very while ago where I compared him to Endrick. They had the same game, it was Brazil versus Spain, I believe, friendly game. And I was like, Endrick, you're going to be a star. You're going to be way better than Lamin Yamal. The last game, Endrick came on at the 88th minute. They're both the same age almost. I think Endrick is older as well. And he has yet to do anything for Real Madrid. <laughs> I mean, sure, there is quite a difference here. First of all, Barcelona, they don't have world, world-class players like Real Madrid has. Mbappes, Vini, Rodrigo, Bellingham. It's very hard for Endrick to start in that team. And I think he was aware of that as well. You cannot judge right now, but Lamin Yamal is way, 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 way levels above... Endrick. Endrick also plays for Brazilian national team. He is, I believe, a starter there and he rarely performs there as well. I mean, none of the Brazilians perform in any game, let's be honest, even Vinicius Jr. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to talk about Hansi Flick, man. God damn, what a manager, man. He came into this Barcelona 
and changed Barcelona for the better man. The fact that he went in an interview and said we could have scored two or three more goals. The mentality of this brother is genuinely insane, man. The fact that when they played that game that they won 7-0 and they scored seven goals, right? This was his reaction on the screen. Look at him. But every time Yamal scores, he, he gives up this type of reaction. <laughs> he really likes Lamine Yamal. I mean, everyone likes Lamine Yamal, if I'm being honest. Even as a Real Madrid fan, how can you hate the kid? <laughs> but at the same time, if we're talking about the manager, we cannot disregard what Javi did as well. I like this tweet right here that you guys are seeing on the screen. Thanks for setting up the foundations. I mean, yeah, you have to respect him for that. He's literally set up the foundation of Barcelona with the Pedris, Danny Olmo. Oh my God, what a player. Everyone critiqued Danny Olmo saying, why would you get Danny Olmo? Why not get Nico Williams? I mean, Nico Williams is probably in his bed crying right now. For not joining Barcelona, man. <laughs> and it's so hard to say this, but Barcelona is the better team than Real Madrid at the moment. Lamin Yamal is also the best footballer in the world at the moment. Lamin Yamal, I really would love to see him getting to the Lionel Messi levels, man. Because the next generation, they deserve a Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo type of player. And hopefully it's Lamin Yamal. Hopefully it's Mbappe, it's Vinny, it's Erling Haaland. Hopefully they just step up and get to that level. And even surpass that level because we want to see football improving, obviously. We want fun again in football. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how much I sit here and talk about the performance of Barcelona, at the end of the season, Real Madrid will still win the Champions League and Barcelona will still go to the Europa League after being kicked out of Bayern Munich. And that's football right there. <laughs> you could have the best start to the season, but it's always about how you finish. Thanks so much. Subscribe if you're new on the channel. And gracias, amigos.